Welcome to the Nicholas 11X12 technology. Today we're looking at the Scythe Mugen Max Air CPU Cooler. It looks fairly simple on first sight, and in some way that's true of course, but the cooler actually is really big, especially for the lower price point of 45 to 50 US dollars right now. Thanks a lot to Scythe for sending me the CPU cooler to review. <music> In the box is the heatsink, the included 140mm fan, fan clips, all the Intel and AMD mounting brackets and of course there's also an installation guide included. First of all I have to say, the heatsink itself actually looks fantastic. I know there's not really much that can be changed here, but the design here indeed is a little bit different compared to most other CPU coolers. For instance on the top we get a nice clean plate with a simple and minimalistic scythe logo. That's all, sometimes less is more. Secondly the fins look a bit different than on most other coolers. I really liked it a lot. The dimensions of the cooler are the following, 145 by 86 by 161 millimeters. The heatsink alone weighs 720 grams. In total there are 6 large heat pipes that go through the nickel plated copper base here. The following sockets are supported, Intel LJ1150, LJ1155, LJ1156, LJ2011, LJ1366, LJ775, AMD AIM3+, AIM3, AIM2+, AIM2, FM2+, FM2, and FM1. But now let's take a closer look at the included fan. Scythe includes their high quality Glidestream 140 PWM 140mm fan. A 4 pin PWM connector is used here. The fan's rated airflow should be 63.5 to about 165 cubic meters per hour depending on the fan speed. Speaking of fan speed, the Glidestream 140 can go as low as 500 rpm and as high as 1300 rpm. The fan isn't really loud with 13 to 30.7 decibels at max. Also this fan makes use of a sleeve bearing. Overall let's say it's a beautiful fan indeed. Everything's black and you can definitely tell it's a high quality fan. The cable is nylon sleeved by the way. Mounting the fan onto the heatsink is very easy and fast thanks to the fan clips. I have to admit it's a bit harder to do on camera but you have to know I get nervous when I'm on camera. It's nice of Scythe to also include a second pair of fan clips so you could add another fan onto the heatsink to increase the cooling performance even further. However Scythe does not include a second one. If you decide to get a second one I'd recommend getting a second Glidestream 140 PWM fan. And yeah what else can I say at this point now, it's a beautiful CPU cooler once the fan is mounted onto the heatsink. But beauty isn't all, you know? So let's check out how the Mugen Max actually performs on my hot running overclocked Intel i7-4770K. Oh and before I forget, the Scythe Mugen Max does not interfere with memory at all. That's very rare in air CPU coolers and still you can install two fans without any problems at all as you can see. Alright, the Scythe Mugen Max definitely is a great CPU cooler. It has fantastic performance to offer and at this price point pretty good even though there's a lot of strong competition out there in the market. But the Mugen Max definitely delivers, it manages to cool down my hot i7-4770K, remains fairly quiet and looks good as well. And by that I mean the kind of minimalistic design overall. The installation of the cooler is very easy and straightforward and it's great to see all the mounting brackets are out of metal and not out of plastic. As you've seen in the charts, an air CPU cooler still is the better choice over an all-in-one water cooler in terms of price performance ratio. The massive price just doesn't justify the minimal increase in cooling performance. However I have to admit I'm a fan of AIO water coolers, mainly because they are quieter than most air CPU coolers and don't cover up any RAM slots at all in my system. But the Mugen Max also doesn't. 
Still, now that I've gotten the possibility to test the Mugen Max, this would be the air CPU cooler I'd go for if I wouldn't want to go with a water cooler. I can definitely recommend the Scythe Mugen Max CPU cooler, it really does a great job. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe and visit nicholas11x12techx.com to see videos there earlier than on YouTube. Also say no to ad blockers in order to support me and to make future videos possible. Thank you.